The city's finance minister, Muketi Majoro, has presented a budget that gives a zero increase to public servants and includes tough austerity measures across all sectors. Rapalang Khadebe reports. Basutu's days of cheaper fuel are soon coming to an end. This follows a hefty increase on fuel and other alcoholic beverages levies, as the government seeks to improve revenue collection, which will lead to a significant economy recovery. This significant recovery reflects additional revenue measures, including the introduction of a 30% levy on the sale of tobacco, a 15% levy on the sale of alcohol, a 30 cents per litre increase in the fuel levy, and half a percentage point increase in domestic tax, tax collection. Majoro says unless stringent austerity measures are put into place, the downward economic spiral can never be halted. Reduce the cost of foreign missions by reducing the number of missions and reviewing the formula for calculating salaries. Reduce ministerial cross salary by 5%. Eliminate the interest benefit on MPs loans and the possibility of a write-off of loans following a midterm election. Finance Minister says despite a positive economic outlook, there are still tough times ahead. We therefore ex expect poor agricultural harvest this year, and as a result, it is estimated that 491,000 people will require emergency food assistance uh, in the coming months. But the opposition says the government does not have a good will, and that only a government of national unity can implement a shared vision for the suit. But it is not for the first time we hear this kind of, uh, you know, uh, the uh, measures that have been taken by the, by the minister, but they were not respected before. So we hope this time around there will be a political will on the part of government. Some relief has come to the elderly, whose old age grants will drop from 70 to 60 years in the next two years. Rapelang Khatebe. SABC News, Maserole Soto.